Okay guys, today I'm going to be doing a video on how to change the wick and the rayon in your uh, Zippo. And just before I go, I do it, I just want to say a few things. Uh, I've seen a lot of people on there say, oh, you only got to do this in Zippos that are 10 years old, 20 years old, blah, blah, blah. Not true, because when I bought my armored uh, high polish chrome Zippo, I bought it seven months ago. Uh, when I first bought it, the fluid was lasting, you know, almost three weeks per fill in my Zippo consistently, right? Then as the time went by, I can't even get five days out of it now. Like that's that's the basically the max I can get is about five days. And, I, and I'm not one of those guys that just use Zippo and sit it for a month. I use my Zippo 20, 30, 40 times a day. I'm always using it. I smoke cigarettes, smoke pipe, use it for lighting fires or whatever. If I need to fray the end of some rope, you know, when you melt the end of the rope so it's not frayed anymore or straps or whatever. I work with it, I use it as a tool, I use it for my own personal reasons. I use it all the time. And if you use it all the time, the cotton gets weak in it. Like uh, this cotton, it's just all, this is the old cotton that was in it. Like it's just all breaking apart. It's not very absor absorbent anymore, it's all tight. When you touch the fresh cotton, you could feel the difference. You know what I mean? So I was going to put a new wick in this one, but the wick is still pretty good in it. So I'm not really going to spend too much time with it. But the problem where everybody's going wrong with their Zippo and that when they go to repack and it's not filling, it's because they're not putting two pieces of cotton on either side of that wick. It's got, there's got to be one on each side at the very top of it before you do anything. So first things first, I will stuff it in the one side. There we go. Now I will pull to the other side. I will stuff another piece in on the other side. Don't be afraid to pack this in tight. The tighter and the more there is, the better and longer it lasts. Now, see where the wick goes into the hole at the top? It's completely packed. You're not going to be losing evaporative fluid out of there as much anymore now. So now, now you could start with your side to side, whatever you got to do, right? So bend it like an S a little bit. There. Now stuff another cotton ball in there. Pack it. There. Now it went flat. See? Now put this piece on right here. Pack another one over that. Done. Now there's a little bit of a gap there. Get another cotton ball. Pack it on over it. Make this one last cotton ball the flattener of the rest. And see that open gap? I, I also will fill that in. It doesn't need a big piece, so I'm just breaking off a little piece to stuff in there. And there we go. Now, there might be a little too much on the top, so I'll just pack her down. It won't hurt it. Now, it's this felt is the old felt in it. It was printed on both sides. This is the side that was up all the time. It gets worn, so to preserve the other side of the felt, I'll just keep it like that. There. And then everything fits back in good. Nice and tight. No problems anywhere. Oops. And as you can see, It is flush basically that's all it has to be put the flint back in it does not matter which way you put the flint in if it's rounded on the one side and you're putting it in the flat side doesn't matter it doesn't have to be the groove this pin has seen better days you don't have to screw this in all the way tight guys like all the way yes but all the way tight you do not have to because this sits in the bottom of the case anyways chances of you losing anything on it and I see a lot of people too this felt doesn't have it because it's an old one but you get the felt with the hole in the middle right there. The hole doesn't go all the way through the felt. That is not a filling port. If you ask Zippo, that is actually a spare flint holder. That little hole there is to put a spare flint in your Zippo there. That is all that is for. You have to lift to fill. That's why it's printed on there, lift to fill. Even the ones with the holes in them say lift to fill. Why do they say lift to fill? Because you have to lift to fill. That is just a flint hole. That is to hold a flint and nothing more. So do not fill through that because you're not filling it properly at that point and you're having a messy time if you are doing it. Now, 
this thing is packed and ready to go this is actually my Niagara Falls Zippo as you can see the old one doesn't have the little lines right here to help it stay in the case like you know how they're humped uh, I could go grab another insert real quick and show you. This is one of the many pipe inserts Zippo has sent me, but see how it's got the hump there, that piece of metal on both sides? And oh, and see, lift to fill, but there's a hole there. That hole is for a flint. That's what that is for. That's why it still says lift to fill. But see these? That keep it in the case. That keep it from popping out. The old, the old inserts do not have that lip, as you can see. So now with the repacked Zippo, you should be getting a long lasting fuel out of these zippos now and that is how you replace the wick that is how you replace the rayon or cotton you could use whatever you want doesn't matter and this is my niagara falls zippo it's a jack daniels very hard to find it was sent in by a fan i had got the rid rep lid replaced i got a video on that from zippo uh, i'm switching my everyday user from an armor to a niagara falls one with a niagara falls insert just because you know, in America, you might want to drive an American car built in America, made by America. You got, And I, it's the same thing. When I use Zippo, I want to use a made in Canada one because we used to make them here. And it's just a classic. I like old things. I like antiques. I collect tons. But anyways, guys, so that is how you change it. That is how you do it properly. And like I said, if your Zippo is only getting five days of uh, lighter fluid, your Zippo is, is, is the cotton needs to be replaced. It's no good anymore. You need to change that cotton. And you just seen how easy it is to change cotton. It's super easy. Do it, you know, twice a year. Change the cotton twice a year and you will save on Zippo fluid. Because if you're filling up your lighter and only lasts five days, that's not how Zippo is meant to operate. So, change the cotton. You'll notice you'll get two to three weeks again out of it. And that's how your Zippo should be. That's how reliable it should be. And I have a video coming up. I sent to my grandfather's, my father's, and uh, some old Zippos I had sent in from a fan. You've seen them. They were Niagara Falls ones. Not these two, two different ones. They say Dave and Dad on them. I made a video about it. And uh, I sent them all in for repairs. I'm getting them back, so I'll have a video on that when I get them all back from repairs. And uh, that's my video, guys. Uh, everyone take care. And I hope that uh, answers some questions out there and gets rid of some you know the things people are saying like you know, like i said i had seen one video buddy said it, it was going to last and zippo's last 10 years you don't have to change the cotton well that's not true you're wasting a lot of fluid because uh, how come all my zippos last two to three weeks and then after around the five six month mark all of a sudden they don't hold fluid anymore and they only last for five days that is a waste change your cotton guys it's super easy it's a dollar a bag you get a hundred balls it should last you five years okay everyone take care bye